morning everyone. There's a million things I should be doing today, but what I want to do is a hydro tuning video. So just come down, we'll just turn off this manual nozzle. Just get that one turned off, nice and slow. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to take out this 90 degree bend, make it more of a sweep and see uh, see what increase in power we get. My prediction is not very much, but we'll find out. We'll get it off and uh, and we'll see. So we'll go and start it up and take some readings first, see what that nozzle's doing just on its own. Take some readings and then uh, we'll put a sweep in it. Um, it'll be 245, so it'll just be a nice gentle sweep and see if we get any difference in power. All right, let's do it. Okay, so we're up in the shed. And we'll turn on the one big nozzle and see what reading we get. Can't remember what it is, 200 watts or so, I think. So we'll uh, we'll let it stabilise and do a sweep and everything, and then we'll take a reading. Right. So these are the two fittings we're going to use. Uh, they're not cheap. They're about 12 quid each. These. Um, the trouble is, I'm going to weld two of them together like this to give us a more sweeping curve. But the problem is if I weld them now, we're going to have like an inch at least of this really rough thread. And focus. Anyway, yeah, that really rough thread we don't want in there because that's going to add friction. So I'm going to cut off the thread and then weld them together. I think it might give us a bit more of an even curve anyway and not have this, this flat spot. So cut them off, weld them together. Right, there we go. So now we'll weld those two bits back together. And that's our sweeping bend. So it turned out that having uh, both those cut off gave me a bit too sharp of an angle. So I'm going to use one, one of these for the other one as well. And we'll use a new one that I got planned. And we'll, we'll have one with the threads cut off, one, one not. But I'm uh, grinding all of these threads out. I don't have a die grinder unfortunately, I've got a bit of a sandpaper around a, around a drill. Yeah, getting rid of those threads. Almost got it now, a little bit more sanding. Then we'll weld those two together and then it should be fairly smooth. Right, there is our fitting, welded up. It's pretty smooth on the inside, as smooth as I can get it anyway. Um, so I think we'll be good. So let's fit that, see if it makes any difference. It's got quite a sweep to it compared to the other one. You know, it's not doing a sharp turn. So we'll see if it makes any difference. I'm not, not convinced, but this is uh, it's all learning. I just need to uh, let this stabilize a bit on its own because I just checked the old video and we've seen 177 out of this nozzle um, before so it should go, I think there might be an air, bit of air in the pipe somewhere from me messing with it so we'll let it do its thing for a bit come back to it, we should see around 177, that's what we've had out of it before right, I'm not 100% sure why but we're not quite getting the 177 we were having before but I've let it stabilise for a while and uh, it's, it's really steady at 160, 162 so uh, I think that's the figure we'll take for now. But yeah, that's at the moment, for whatever reason, I don't know what it is, but there's a few watts down from when we checked it last. But yeah, 163 is the max we've seen. So we'll change the fit in, turn it back on. I know it's not a scientific test, but it, it gives us an idea. So 160 to 163 is what we're getting. Right, uh, just putting this back together. I really am good. There was a bit of a uh, sludge in there, but 
um, nothing I don't I think it would have affected anything significantly a tiny bit of build up in here but like I say it's it's just a little bit of sediment and it's smooth there's no like loss of diameter of the pipe really nothing significant anyway so we've got these fittings back on I really don't think this is going to make any significant difference but I'm ready to be wrong about it and I'm incredibly interested to see if it does um, but I don't think it's going to be worth the effort I have to say, it looks a lot better but we shall find out if it was worth it or not very shortly it is literally just a drip hmm. tighten that up a touch still dripping not dripping out of my world a tiny little drip there I think it'll probably seal itself up but we're safe for now we go and test it it's not going to affect anything it's a, it's a drip every second or so nothing significant let's go and run a test see if we've improved it right that's the one nozzle on as you can see no significant difference there at all from changing that sweep one or two watts maybe from what we had before we started it now like I say I have seen 177 off that nozzle so I'm not sure what's going on there but at the moment it's reading 160 it was reading 160 odd before we changed it and it's still reading 160 odd after we changed it so no real significant difference there so let's see what we get off a full power test ah right good morning everyone early morning we can uh, get this hydro uh, do this hydro test because it rained quite a bit last night let's just walk up to the intake oh hang on sorry about that the old microphone muff thing was in the way so I'm gonna walk up to the intake see how much water we got it rained quite a bit so I think we'll be fine and uh, clear off any leaves or anything that are on it and then we can do a test test out see what we're getting full power now right so we're back up to uh, full power as you can see we've made absolutely no difference whatsoever to the full power we're seeing that 450 same as we did before and that is just as I suspected really no difference at all and, uh, and we'll go back down to the turbine and I'll explain why okay we're back down at the turbine and I'm going to explain why there's no, been no real difference so the first reason is we haven't actually taken the bend out we've just made it more of a sweep um, if we took the bend out altogether we might see tiny improvement but here's the thing if this pipe was half the size that it is if I, if I went cheaper which I didn't I specifically used way oversized pipe in everything so I got the absolute maximum amount of power out of it if this pipe was half the size the water would be moving at least twice as fast within the pipe so the water would then come along here really fast and it would slam into this edge here and as it slams into this edge you have to change direction and it would lose quite a bit of its energy but because i've oversized the pipe so greatly and then it restricts down to a nozzle the water moving through this pipe is moving very very slowly and this is the biggest nozzle so on the other ones it moves even slower the water moving through this pipe, I'll find out exactly what speed it's moving at, but it's moving very slowly. So as it comes around here, it just makes its way around the curve. And now don't get me wrong, there will be a small loss. There's always a small loss. And if you were to ask a plumber or anything like that, uh, how much loss you get in a 90 degree bend, they would tell you it's lots, it's significant. But that's because they're usually undersized uh, fittings and pipe for the flow. 
and you get uh, quite extreme losses in those situations. This is sized to have very small pipe losses and that's why changing that makes no real noticeable difference to us. Um, if I was to put it straight, we might get one or two watts again, but because the pipe is so oversized, it's, it's just not gonna make enough of a difference to be worthwhile and I won't be changing the other two. And uh, so there's, there's the thing, if you wanna use really small pipe in a turbine, uh, you'll have to think about these things quite in depth and you really want to go straight in not have any curves or anything like that but If you go really big on that pipe, you know, those those things are going to make such small differences uh, There's other places where you can uh, make better significant changes to the system um, I think I think maybe we might have better luck improving this uh, sharp uh, edge that we have in this fitting here um, so we might do that next and have a go see what that's like. But that's the turbo I'm running at full power now and uh, we've seen no, no increase whatsoever um, from making that more of a sweep and I suspect it will be the case. Okay, so we're back at the roundhouse just at the computer here. Uh, just thought I'd do a few calculations to show you why I knew that there would be no significant or suspected there would be no significant difference. Um, with changing that fitting so here we go here is our flow 1.8 liters per second that's the flow that it's at when it when the valve is open after the pressure drop so it's around about two liter per second nozzle obviously that drops a little bit as the as the pressure decreases as the nozzle is turned on uh, so the diameter of the pipe is around 50 mil tiny bit under maybe but it's very close to 50 mil uh, length of pipe is about 1.5 meters it isn't that it's actually shorter than that but we're doing worst case scenario here really uh, velocity of flow ends up being 1.92 meters per second so as you can see very very slow so and you can see the loss there is tiny too so meters that amount of meters per second um, 1.92 uh, it equates to around two miles per hour so as you can see the the speed of the water within the pipe is very slowly it's not even you know walking pace um, as such uh, so yeah, and and the loss is tiny too. So we've got 1.5, well, 2.15 millibars of pressure drop in that length of pipe, equates to 0, 0.0. Yeah, it's nothing really, nothing significant, nothing worth even thinking about in a system like this. Um, now I know that that. Um, has a curve to it that pipe but really that is not going to change things when we're looking at losses that much even if we took the absolute worst case scenario that curve we wouldn't even get to 0 0.1 of a psi within that pipe and let's bear in mind that this is the highest flowing nozzle on the system the other other nozzles are close to half of this so let's bear in mind that this is the absolute worst case scenario for the entire system now we can look at how much loss is actually in the bend itself um, because obviously um, there's losses in bends, we all know that but because I sized the pipe so big I accounted for these bends when I sized the system so here we go, let's have a look at the loss within that bend so uh, don't have pipe, hang on, this is wrong, let's go back so we do a bend now so bends so the diameter of pipe, the diameter of pipe is 50 mil. The radius of the bend, we're going to do 150. Uh, that's about right. Uh, pipe roughness, we'll keep the same. So here we go, liters per second, 1.8 liters per second. So this is just doing the bend. As you can see, just that bend with with our flow. See what we get. All right, there we go. So as you can see, our loss in that bend is absolutely minuscule. So that loss equates to not even 0.1 of a psi. So as you can see, with with the curved pipe, the loss within the pipe, with the pipe size and the bend and everything else, the losses are still incredibly tiny. I'm looking at not even 0.1 of a psi per nozzle in that system and the reason for that is because I sized it to be like that and I knew that it would work like that I did it I calculated it all before and I knew that would be the case but there was just so many people saying that all my losses are, are in the bends and, and they're really not um, there is however a little bit of loss in um, um, in here 
So the pipe that leads to the um, manifold where it tapers down is around 40 mil and it ends up being about um, 0 0.7 sorry 0 0.7 meters long pipe roughness is that uh, liters per second see that small length of pipe there has to move five liters a second so let's see there probably is a little bit of a loss there so it's still not much though Look, we've got 22 point see it's, it's very small amount of loss very small amount of loss indeed yeah tiny amount of pressure drop we can have a look at the pressure drop within the entire pen stock so the pen stock inner diameter of the pipe is 90 millimeters the length of the pipe is 210 meters um, and we have 5 litres a second so there we go ok so that's going to be the end of this video I hope you enjoyed it uh, we didn't make any improvements but we suspected that uh, I did expect to make uh, at least a few watts improvement I thought maybe 3, 4 watts something like that but we didn't even get that and the reason being is because there isn't even 3 or 4 watts loss in there um, so we should have expected that uh, but yeah these, this, doing stuff like this cost me money I knew that it wasn't going to make a significant difference but I did it for educational content to demonstrate it um, so if you appreciate that uh, and you like content such as this go over to Patreon uh, you know a dollar here and there really helps me um, be able to do things like this without worrying about the cost because uh, there would have been no point to me doing this otherwise because I knew that there would be no real massive significant difference that justified the cost but I, I did it just to provide the educational content so if you appreciate that, you like the content, go over to Patreon, helps the channel out helps me uh, be able to do things like this um, okay, hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching